in this lecture i will teach you the concept of free fall we know that earth attracts everything towards itself due to a force of gravity as a result the body accelerates towards the earth therefore the type of motion in which only a force of gravity acts on a body is known as a free fall now let consider that a body fall towards earth if i trace its motion path i come to this conclusion that in time zero second the displacement of this body is zero hence its velocity is also zero and time one second its displacement becomes 4.9 meter hence its velocity is 9.8 meter per second and time two second its displacement becomes 19.6 meter hence its velocity is also 19.6 meter per second and time 3 second its displacement is 44.1 meter and its velocity becomes 29.4 meter per second now look at the velocity of a body we see that the velocity of a body is increasing as it is falling down because the body has covered greater displacement between 1 and 2 second than 0 and 1 second similarly the displacement of body is greater between 2 and 3 second than 1 and 2 second hence every second the body covers greater and greater displacement as a result velocity of a body increases we know that when velocity of a body increases or decreases we say velocity changes when velocity changes acceleration produces hence we get that when a body falls towards earth its velocity increases or we can say that the body accelerate towards earth therefore a falling bodies have acceleration now here the question is can you calculate acceleration of this falling bodies the answer is yes we know that the rate change of velocity every second is called acceleration it means if i find the change in velocity between 0 and 1 seconds it will give us acceleration hence at time 0 second our velocity is 0 meter per second and at time 1 second our velocity is 9.8 meter per second hence the change in velocity is 9.8 meter per second square this is the acceleration of this body between 0 and 1 second similarly if i find acceleration of this body between 1 and 2 seconds it is again 9.8 meter per second square and if i find it between 2 and 3 second it is again 9.8 meter per second square thus i say that the rate change of our velocity in every second is 9.8 meter per second or i say that our velocity is constantly increasing by amount of 9.8 meter per second hence we get constant acceleration 9.8 meter per second square in physics this constant acceleration of free fall is known as a acceleration due to gravity it is denoted by small g whenever you see g anywhere in physics remember that it is acceleration due to gravity and its value is 9.8 meter per second square in both cases if a body falls down towards earth or if it goes in upward direction at last let me ask you some tricky questions if i throw a body in upward direction what will be its acceleration at the peak point i know that if i throw a body with initial velocity of 29.4 meter per second in upward direction after 3 seconds its velocity will be 0 meter per second thus at the peak point 
the velocity of a body is 0 meter per second. But still its acceleration is 9.8 meter per second square. The reason is that when I throw a body in upward direction, in this case its velocity decreases. Now how much velocity between the last 2 and 3 second decreases? I know its velocity decreases from 29.4 meter per second to 19.6 meter per second then from 19.6 meter per second to 9.8 meter per second then from 9.8 meter per second to 0 meter per second yes in the last second our velocity changes from 9.8 meter per second to 0 meter per second hence my acceleration at peak point is a 9.8 meter per second square lastly what is the direction of acceleration due to gravity the answer is when a body falls in downward direction or it goes in upward direction in both the cases the change in velocity is downward hence the direction of acceleration due to gravity should always be in downward direction i hope you have understood the concept of acceleration due to gravity